They just started playing Shania Twain, which is the Coop's anthem, and so I think it's about to get... Is the entire yeah, arena going to yeah. start? Enjoy it. Oh, and Bella's starting to dance, too? I hope Shania Twain I is know. watching right now, because I know she's, like, the biggest <laughs> new Coop fan. Shania, The fan is going to go rush mid-court to go sing with them. Shania is going to be playing in the Palouse pretty soon. Everyone in the Palouse are going to be the biggest Shania Twain fans. So apparently, and Cammy Edwards told Jordan Liggins Robinson this story, this was Ula Matuga's like, karaoke song back in Australia. Australia. Uh -huh. And then it came on when they were playing UCLA. And Cammy said it just gave the team a lift. And since then, it's really been their anthem. And now, I mean, well, these are the moments. Like, when you are on a run like Washington State is on, there's these remarkable things that happen just out of the blue. And Shania Twain's connection to Bella Mirkatete, Ula Matuga, and the Cougars is amazing. This what reality are we living in that Washington State is in the Pac-12 championship and they are karaoke to Shania Twain? I mean, what is happening? This is so This good. is what the it's all about. The only thing that would be better is if Bella somehow started playing that trumpet. <laughs> and they know where the cameras are as well. That they do. Oh. Washington State Cougs, and they deserve every bit of it. Ula Matuga said, hey, I won nine games here my first year, nine games here my second year. I wouldn't have believed you if you told me that in my fifth year we'd be sitting here. 22 wins, playing for the first time ever in the Pac-12 Tournament Championship Final. They will face UCLA on Sunday. It's the first time ever that a top-four seed is not going to play in the championship game. The, number one is down. Number two, gone. Number three, out. Number four, see ya. It's five and seven. But you get the sense, Bella Mercatete just told Pat John, the athletic director, I told you. You get the sense, they knew they can get here. They knew that they had the caliber team to get them to the championship. And the they party is just getting started. The party they is don't just getting started. confidence, that's for sure. Oh, Charlize like a walker Charlize. coming on over. What's going through your mind right now? Man. Oh, boy, let me breathe. Woo. You've been dancing too <laughs> much. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys are getting familiar with this set. Oh, what this a three. looks good on you guys. What a three, a stare at Tahina hit. That was clutch. Tell me about that three when they settled down. incredible and a clutch three for a freshman is Sarah yeah um, it was just low clock I had the ball and I had to shoot it and it went in so <laughs> how did you guys do that I mean how are you guys doing this Bella I heard you, I saw you uh, have a moment with Pat Chen the athletic director and you said I told you I told you so what you felt like this moment was coming man um, I just had a meeting with him and um, he just told me that um, I just have to believe in myself, and I just have to be better than the that, than the player was the last game. And um, he just really built confidence for me, and I just told him that I was gonna do my best, and that's what I did today. 12 points, eight rebounds, first time ever the Cougs are gonna be playing in the Pac-12 Tournament Championship. <laughs> Charlize, you're shaking your head. Season sunk in. I know it's been. I know it's been an emotional roller coaster for you this season. Has it sunk in? What What's going on right now? <laughs> no, it hasn't. Honestly, there's just so many emotions right now. I don't want to say. Too much. I'm just so proud of this team. <laughs> Sorry. Let it out. Um, no, I'm just so proud of how we came out, how we've been performing. This is my family right here. They've had my back this whole season. And just to come out and prove to everybody that we deserve to be here. We deserve to be in this final coming up. Um, it's just surreal. I'm honestly just in shock right now. I, I, 
I can't even think of words <laughs> right now. Charlize, but... your sister played for Cami at Northern Colorado, mm. and you were a kid in New Zealand, and she convinced you to come with her when Cami went to Pullman to go to Wazoo. Mm -hmm. Think back to that time and where you're at now, and how do you put that into perspective? <laughs> See you Sunday! <laughs> I know. It's insane. I mean, I, from the get-go, you know, my sister, she always had nothing but positive things to say about Coach E. And you can ask anybody here. We all love her so much. What she's done for this program is I, I don't think people really understand how much she has done for this program. And bringing people together, a, a group of people who probably nobody was talking about us three or four or five years ago, and now we're so relevant. And it's all credit to her and her staff. And then, again, this group that we have here, um, I, again, I'm just so amazed. Um, um, you know, again, you said you touched on Crystal as being here, and again, it was her class as well who came through. We definitely would not be here without her. So shout out to you, Crystal. I know you're watching. Crystal Andrew Walker, we love you, Mick, Cher, all of you guys. We love you guys so much, and we can't. We're just so grateful for you to lay out this foundation and joy, um, enjoy this glory that we have right now with us. So we love you guys. We love you. It is all glory, and let's get Kimmy Etheridge in here, and you hear oh, what Charlize oh, Ledger Walker. Yeah, I, I just got to say it is cool. You look around. We were talking about it last night. Eight different countries represented on this roster. There are so many different, unique players. You bring them all together and you make it all work. What is it like being able to share this moment with your players? Yeah, well, honestly, you know, internationals are unique uh, in coming to America. They're they're more mature a lot of times. Uh, they they leave their families uh, and they love the opportunity of everything that college brings to them, and they take advantage of everything a university experience brings to them. So, it's been amazing to to bring this group together and and um, again this is the greatest feeling in the world today you know we want to look for something else <laughs> another day tomorrow. Until yeah. tomorrow. but to see the smiles to see the community that we have behind us and the connection that we make with our community and and that again people see these people and they're they're just the most amazing young women on and off the court, representing our program in the in the greatest ways. I just love watching them play and and competing and seeing what they're they're becoming. Can I ask you what you said to the team after the third quarter? Because that third quarter happened and it felt like the momentum totally switched, but then the fourth came and you flipped it right back on. I don't know that it was, you know, I don't I don't curse, but I'm <laughs> harsh in what I say, and and you know, I just it was it's typical Colorado how hard they just make everything, and but I thought we self-inflicted a lot of our own wounds a little bit, and it was just tough time. It's like who's gonna, you know, it's time we can we can do some things against them. We can can make if we quit making mistakes and I just thought we just regrouped and, and made great tough plays and rebounded and guarded and um, obviously you know it, it broke open a little bit on the offensive end with some great players making some really winning plays. Kimmy if I say the Cougs are playing for the Pac-12 championship t on Sunday here in Las Vegas what do you think? Dream come true <laughs> and with the best people in the world. Yeah. Well, I love that. There's been so many amazing moments. Do you guys want? I know you're best friends yes. now with Shania Twain. Yes, any yeah, shout out. Shout out. Do you want to give a shout out to Shania? Just given that she. Oh, are we gonna get? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we, we gonna get, get Mitzi, Mitzi on set. We got a Mitzi. Mitzi. We gotta get Mom oh. Mitzi on set. Mitzi, yes. Girl. This is the big bus. That's the little. This is the big bus right yeah. here. The real deal. Yeah. <laughs> Mitzi, you proud of your daughter? Words cannot say how proud I am of all of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> take that, take that mic away from her. So <laughs> Anything else? Any? No. Talk stories? about Shania. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I'm giving you a chance get, to give a, a shout, out shout out to Shania. To Shania. Go need... ahead. <laughs> You will love. Miss Auntie Shania Twain. <laughs> we love you. We appreciate the support. Uh, you should come down to Las Vegas yes. on Sunday. Yeah. And if you want, you can perform it live with Koji yes. in the locker time. room. In the locker room. No, no, thank you, Shania. We appreciate the we support. Love we love thank the you. song. Go Cougs. They had a uh, without the music rendition before our game today. I don't know if they played that, and she might not. Want We're gonna learn the words by advertising then. anymore. But uh, oh, yeah. you guys have brought one of the best songs back. I am so happy for you. Thank you for joining us on set. Thank you for being just so joyful to cover and watch. Mitzi, it's awesome to have you on set. You can come back anytime, and we'll give you a mic. All right. All right. Congratulations. Uh, I'm gonna let the band take it away because yes, we're gonna yes, talk yes, about yes. this game.